Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the hook modifier in Blender. The hook modifier is used to deform a mesh or curve using another object or a bone. We can use the hook modifier with cloth simulation. So, we can add pins to cloth, and move the cloth with hook object with interactively. We can also use the hook modifier with armatures to animate curve objects. Let's see how it works. Let's add a plane. Hit the S key and scale up the plane little bit. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Switch to edit mode, and subdivide the plane 50 times. So, we will have enough geometry to deform the plane. Click on the vertex menu, hooks, hook to new object. We can also press Ctrl H to access to hook menu. Once we click on hook to new object, the empty object will be added as the hook object. Also, the hook modifier will be added to modifier tab. Go back to object mode again. Select the empty object, hit the G key and move around. As you can see, whole vertices will move together with the hook object. We can also determine the vertex group that is controlled by the hook object. Let's select the plane, and switch to edit mode. Go to object data properties tab, click on the plus icon and add a new vertex group. Select the vertices you want to assign to the group. Click on the Assign button. Then, go back to Object Mode, click on the Modifier tab. Select the vertex group we have just created. Select the hook object, press G key and Z key to move the hook object on the Z axis. As you can see, we can deform the mesh based on the empty object and selected vertices. Let's select the plane, press Tab key and switch to Edit Mode again. To see modifier result in edit mode, enable the edit mode button. We can also enable the on cage option. So, we can see the vertices on the deformed parts of the mesh. We can adjust this hook's influence on the selected vertices by strength value. We can also assign the vertices without vertex group. Let's delete the vertex group. We can clear the offset transformations by clicking the reset button. Click on the any point in the space, and deselect the vertices. Let's select the vertices we want to assign. Click on the assign button. Then, go back to object mode, select the hook object, and move the object on the z-axis. There we go. We can also rotate and scale the hook object on the certain axis. Let's press Alt-G and clear the location of the hook object. Select the plane, go back to edit mode. Click on the reset button, and clear the offset transformations. Click on the any point in the space, and deselect the vertices. We can select the vertices again by clicking on the select button. We can also add another vertices to this group. Hold down shift and select the other vertices. Click on the assign button. Go back to object mode. Select the hook object, and move around. Select the plane, go back to edit mode again. To delete all vertices in this group, deselect the vertices, and click on the assign button. When you click on the select button, you can see we cannot select any vertices anymore. Hit the A key, and select all vertices. Click on the assign button, and go back to object mode. In this case, all vertices will be affected equally, and move together with the hook object. Let's select the plane, and drop down the falloff section. Set the radius value to 0.5. Select the hook object, and move up the on the z-axis. As you can see, any vertices closer to the hook object will be more affected. Any vertices further than 1.5 meters from the hook object, won't be affected at all. We can increase or decrease this influence area. We can also change falloff type. Press numpad 1 and switch to front view.
we can also change the hook center. It is in the middle of the plane right now. Let's switch to edit mode. Select the corner vertex, press shift S, and cursor to selection. Then, click on the recenter button. There we go. Let's set the hook center to world origin again. Press shift S, cursor to world origin. Click on the recenter button. We can use the hook modifier with cloth simulation. So, we can add pins to cloth, and move the cloth with hook object with interactively. Let's add a plane. Rotate the plane on the x-axis 90 degrees. Scale up the plane on the z-axis. Press Ctrl A, and apply the scale and rotation transforms. Switch to edit mode. Press Ctrl R, and add horizontal and vertical loop cuts enough. Let's select the top vertices as pins. Go to Vertex menu, Hooks, Hook to new object. Click on the Physics Properties tab, and add Cloth Physics for the plane. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about cloth simulation. Scroll down to Shape section. We need a vertex group to pin the cloth. To do that, go to Object Data Properties tab, click on the plus icon, and add new vertex group. With the pins vertices are selected, click on the Assign button. Go back to Physics Properties tab, and select the vertex group we have just created. Go to Object Collision section, and enable the Self Collision option. Go to Cache section, set the end frame of the simulation to 1000. Also set the end frame of the timeline to 1000. Switch to Object Mode, and select the empty object. Let's play the simulation, and move the empty object at the same time. There we go. So, we can simulate and model things as flag and curtain. We can also use the hook modifier with armatures to animate curve objects. We have such a curve. We can consider as a cable. We have an armature also. We want to flex this cable with this armature. To do that, select the armature, switch to pose mode. Select the first bone. Then, go back to object mode. Hold shift and select the cable. Press Tab key and switch to Edit Mode. Select the first control point, press Ctrl H, and hook to selected object bone. As you can see, we have added the hook modifier for bone 003. In the same way, we can add the hook modifier for other bones. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.